Hello my dear friends and welcome back to my tutorial. So today we will continue to create our complete building number 4. So this is already uh, the third building which I am doing in full tutorial. So you can find the previous one uh, full complete tutorial in my playlist. Playlists you will find below this video under the description. But we will create, we will continue to create this building today. So we uh, finished last time, uh, in the previous video we finished to create our grids. So today we will continue to create our the first level, I mean the ground level. And maybe we will start to create the basement. So let's get started. So let's switch to the architecture template. After that we will go to the ribbon menu we will find the walls. Under the walls I will use the some generic wall. So why am I using generic wall? Why am I not using, for example, with the some sites like the bricks, air, like uh, is isolation and something like that? Because this is concept. And as you know, the concept, it doesn't uh, need to make your model really complicated. So you don't need to re uh, create like 400 lot because this is only concept. Maybe everything will change. So we now know this is concept and now we will use some generic wall. Uh, let's find, uh, let's check it out which type of the wall we need to use. Uh, because we are using the PDF, just mention of that, uh, I can uh, measure from the one line to the second line. So here it's like 290 uh, millimeters, but it's not true. This is 300 millimeters for sure. So let's find here the 300 millimeters. Uh, I hope we have something. Uh, yeah, wall 300 millimeters. And I will use the wall center line. Why I'm using the wall center line? Because I will uh, put my walls exactly on my on my grids. So let's create our walls, like one wall. Uh, okay, here we have already one wall. Sometimes it uh, will be a bit lagging. So no worries about that because uh, we are using the PDF uh, overlay and that's why Revit's not working with that mm, pretty pretty nice right now. Maybe later on. So and let's create uh, all the walls. Just continue to create just one by one. Don't don't rush. So this is not uh, about the speed. Uh, as you can see here, it's a really interesting situation because my angle is like that and I believe to that one actually. By my grid it's a bit different angle. So it's a really interesting situation. Let's use dimension. As I said, it sometimes uh, really uh, have some problems. Uh, here 90 degree. So I will believe to my grid. So I will just continue that one. Just extend it by grid and let's draw here the other one yeah it's as, as you can see here some mistakes but uh pdf format it's not 100 percent what you should follow uh pdf format is only to transfer your documentation to your client especially not i'm lying because some clients don't still don't know how to use uh, DWG files. Uh, I don't say even about the uh, BIM files uh, like IFC, uh, Revit files, Archicad files. They still don't know how to use that. I'm not kidding. It's true. Okay, so here we have external walls, but we have the problem. Let's go to 3D, 3D view, and as you can see, uh, our wall not connecting to the our level. Especially our level it's not good now. Let's go to the east view or let's say I'll check which view I can use. North view. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can use this one, this the, that view. And let's say I'll extend my levels. So I cannot see anything. And as you can see, my level my walls now going to the unconstrained, unconnected, and it's going to the level two. So this uh, I mean the two meters only. This is not true. Uh, let's go to back to the 3D view. I really pre pretty like the use the 3D view to make some uh, correction. Let's select all the walls and let's say this wall should go to the level one, uh, level one one. No, level um, level one one. No, or level two. Level one one. Okay, and second one zero. 
let's let me think uh dun -dun -dun -dun. yeah yeah we will live like that this is true okay we have that one let's go back to the side view let's check it out one more time level one level one ah yeah we did we did this one okay i got it uh -huh, here one 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 level zero level one one uh-huh and now we have oh this should be go from the level one to level two uh let's select all the walls again yes i not will cut this moment because i want to show you how it's really work going on level one and here from the level one so this is true this is our ground floor because this one uh, let's i'll change the name it's not one i will say this is ground entrance so and now i understand so this is ground entrance this is my first level this one is second level this one is zero so this is more correct uh let's go back to the side view and let's check it out uh, about the walls we have internal walls uh i think this is uh, only gypsum and let's use uh, the sum of thickness wall uh, really thick walls uh, let's check it out which type of that one here it's a uh, one 125 millimeters for sure this is like a standard let's find uh, 125 millimeters if we don't have we will create so we don't have any plaster like 125 we have only 75 70 and i will use the 75 millimeters to plaster gypsum here and i will create it oh sorry first we should duplicate it and rename it so it's not will be 70 this is will be 125 millimeters let's go inside as you can see here now total thickness it's 95 millimeters we will increase to the 25 so we need 30 millimeters more and oh it's not <laughs> 30 more I said so 90 here uh, 100 so 9 uh, 1 25 millimeters as you can see and new one type we have and let's create but before I will place it I will use my location line by exterior so let's use the finish face exterior view so and now I can use the my wall like a reference just holding a space bar and draw continue draw your line just one line let's connect the second line as you can see here it's unconnected we will do it later on it's no worries about that and just continue to draw your your plan so we don't have any walls anymore done ah no we have as you can see here it's really tricky <laughs> i didn't saw it just one by one don't rush so done we get all the line all the walls and as you can see again the problem <laughs> because before i will start to do my walls i should change the um change the constraint but i didn't change so this was my mistake so let's change to the second level and this one to the first level and we get the our wall it's more correct so as you can see we already uh, under the construction so we already doing something um, um real situation thing so and we can continue also with basement floor let's start basement floor too everything so awesome but one thing we don't have the basement floor here so let's go to level zero here is our basement floor actually so what we're gonna do we should have um and uh, or our override i mean the underlay so how we can do that just a copy of that let's copy it i will copy it i will go to the level one oh level zero sorry and i will paste in the same place done okay and now i will change only the position so how i do it i will do that i will use the uh, move tool i will use this point and i will connect with that point so it will be exactly the same position done now i'm using underlay only to see what's going on uh, on my plan actually i'm using like the target uh, location i i'm using the my um, grids and you should use grids too so let's go to the wall and let's choose the walls here the 300 con 
and let's change uh, uh -huh, here's his okay okay again wall wall center this is correct and let's create our walls again here is my first wall here is my second oh no it's not this wall interesting let's go to the site plan let's click on our wall and let's use create sim similar oh yeah it's different wall let's go back and now we will draw exactly the same wall so you can use this uh, it's not trick but uh, the same type to to create the similar family in somewhere okay let's create one wall second wall third wall as you can see I'm not drawing exactly how, how it is I will use the tool trim and here the some mistakes it's not our mistakes it's mistakes of PDF PDF not uh, so awesome formats to create drawings and even to transfer drawings to the, your client because it's you cannot calculate properly as you can see yeah it's not so good okay after that we will check all our walls no worries about that uh, now we just drawing it uh, as I said uh, last time as I said uh, right now don't try make your walls and everything in Revit uh, from scratching to the I mean uh, when you just drawing something don't try make it perfect uh, in same time so you can just place it and after some manipulation you can make it more correct okay as you can see here it's not connected it's not the problem I will use the uh, trim tool and after that I will connect it so everything all right so and as you can see here right the trim connection again everything correct let's use the our wall again and let's draw here the wall and uh, I guess the same thing here use the trim and trim it so where is we aha uh -huh, here's our big walls let's use it let's connect it and the same here I will use some way here the my wall after that I will use the trim as you can see I'm using only two commands trim and move that's it uh, and internal walls okay so what we're gonna do is internal walls I will do the same thing I will go to the site I will choose my internal walls I will use the create similar and I will go back to the my basement floor as you can see it's already finished face ex exterior and I can start to draw it start to draw one line second line I will change my type of the graphics to the course I don't want to see anything yeah this is much better and draw, a pro draw approximately because we will do it later on more correct as you know from the my first tutorial of this series um, the sizes I mean dimensions everything from the PDF coming not correct you remember it by uh, checking uh, dimensions if you remember check it out the my previous tutorial you will see what I mean okay a few more walls yeah I know it's going boring for you but uh, so what we co what we can do this is architecture this is what you will do like 90% time maybe 99% time of your work and here and here let's connect our walls this one I can extend by manually that one I will draw like this just make sure your wall is straight so not make like 1% uh, degree or something like that just make sure it's everything right okay so here we are and let's hide our um, underlay just select that double time um, on the HH and you will hide it as you can see temporary height and here is our wall perfect this is what I want so actually it's not finished at all because we should now select all our walls I select all the walls how I understand here is all walls or no I will go to the filter and I will see here only walls okay so let's check it out here the basement constraint level 0 the top constraint it's level 3 everything right let's go to the 3d to check it visually visually everything all right right so everything okay 
uh now we should uh check it out our walls uh on the our level zero and uh, level one how we can do that let's go to the level zero we are on the level zero this is our underground floor and now i need to use the uh where is them where is that just give me a second uh -huh, underlay range base level and here is none let's choose here the level one and now we can see what's going on on level one and now we can see properly so uh let's change to the height view uh, i want medium one and i now can see where is the my walls maybe aha uh -huh. now as you can see here is one wall here is the second one this is unbelievable situation because uh, this wall should be, be under each other so i will use a line actually let's say unhide unhide my uh underlay yeah it's a really strange situation so it cannot be like that mm, let's say this is cannot be like that it should be we under each other i will use the align and i will align these lines and i will align these walls too now it's more correct let's check all our external walls okay everything all right this one everything all right aha uh -huh, here as you can see just small things but you should be make sure for example sometimes you cannot see is it a line or no you can use a line for now let's see waste my line a line and let's align this line everything correct aha uh -huh, here as you can see mm -hmm. i will connect it like that this much better so everything seems uh, okay everything got the thing right yeah it seems everything right but this full wall i also don't like what the, what the hell is that it should be be like that it's much better one wall on uh on the other one okay so nice we did it uh let's go to the uh re range base level and let's say none none and as you can see we go we are now back to the our um, wall plan let's go to the view and now everything all right so we finished our walls actually not finished we're just starting but anyway we now have some geometry don't forget to save and we will continue next tutorial